So far, you will have heard me on occasion use the word work, uh, and the work done by a force. Um, so in this video, what I want to do is really formalize that a little bit more so that you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so when you have an object and let's say you push it along the floor, for example, um, then usually when a force is applied to an object, you increase the object's energy. So if I push the object along, I am adding energy to the object. Uh, if there is a frictional force, then a frictional force will take away the energy of the object, okay, in the direction that it is moving. So um, what we say is that when a force is applied to an object which moves in the direction of its line of action, Okay, so you apply a force to an object, and that is, we take the direction of the force and the direction that the object is moving, okay, um, then we say that the force is doing work. Okay, so the force is said to do work on the object. So, what that means is that if the force is perpendicular to the direction that the object is traveling, okay, then that force is not doing any work. Okay, so that's an important facet of this. Okay, so if you have a force that is perpendicular to the direction of motion, so for a block being pushed along the ground, um, the work done by the weight or the normal reaction force would be zero. Okay. So, how do we actually calculate the work done? Well, the work done by a constant force, so let's just write it as W. Well, I'll write it as work done. There. So the work done. So the work done by a constant force is equal to the product of the force and the distance that it's moved in the direction of the force. Okay, so uh, you've got the force times the distance. So, example. Here is my object on the ground. Okay, let's just assume that it's a smooth surface at the moment. Um, and we just have a force that is pulling it along let's say that that is 20 newtons, okay? And from there to here is where it travels to. Try and draw it the same. Well, it's a bit shorter. It doesn't really matter, but it's meant to be the same block, okay? Uh, let's say that this is 10 meters, okay? So it's traveled 10 meters. What is the work done by that force? Well, it is the 20 newton force, that is the direction of motion times by the distance, 10 meters. And so you've got the idea, and we've seen it before. I introduced it with MGH, which was weight times height, which is a force times a distance, a force times a distance. So we would have 200 Newton meters, okay, which we know is joules okay so work done is energy okay so that is the idea behind work done this is how you calculate it force times distance okay again this is a formula that you need to know and you are not given and so uh, but as I said, with kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy, they are formulas that you keep on using and they will become ingrained. You will learn them very quickly.